This Bible and year reading is from the book of Deuteronomy, chapters 13 and 14. Chapter 13, penalties for enticing to idolatry. Every word that I command you, you shall be careful to observe, neither adding to it nor subtracting from it. If there arises in your midst a prophet or a dreamer who promises you a sign or wonder, saying, Let us go after other gods whom you have not known, and let us serve them, and the sign or wonder foretold you comes to pass, do not listen to the words of that prophet or that daydreamer, for the Lord your God is testing you to know whether you really love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul. The Lord your God shall you father it. Follow and him shall you hear, fear. His commandments shall you observe, and to his voice shall you listen. Him you shall serve, and to him you shall hold fast. But that prophet or that dreamer shall be put to death, because in order to lead you astray from the way which the Lord your God has commanded you to take, the prophet or dreamer has spoken apostasy against the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt and redeemed you from the house of slavery, thus shall you purge the evil from your midst. If your brother, your father's child, your, or your mother's child, your son or daughter, your beloved spouse, spouse, or your intimate friend entices you secretly, saying, Come, let us serve other gods whom you and your ancestors have not known, any of the gods of the surrounding peoples near to you or far away, from one end of the earth to the other, do not yield or listen to any such person. Show no pity or compassion, and do not shield such a one, but kill that person. Your hand shall be the first raised to put such a one to death. The hand of all the people shall follow. You shall stone that person to death for seeking to lead you astray from the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, and all Israel shall hear of it and fear and never again do such evil as this in your midst. If you hear it said concerning one of the cities which the Lord your God gives you to dwell in, that certain scoundrels have sprung up in your midst and have led astray the inhabitants of their city, saying, Come, let us serve other gods whom you have not known. You must inquire carefully into the matter and investigate it thoroughly. If you find that it is true and an established fact that this abomination has been committed in your midst, you shall put the inhabitants of that city to the sword, placing the city and all that is in it, even the livestock, under ban. Having heaped up all its spoils in the middle of its square, you shall burn the city with all the spoils as a whole burnt offering to the Lord your God. Let it be a heap of ruins forever, never to be rebuilt. You shall not hold on to anything that is under the ban. Then the Lord will turn from his burning anger and show you mercy, and in showing you mercy, multiply you as he swore to your ancestors, because you have listened to the voice of the Lord your God, keeping all his commandments, which I give you today, doing what is right in the sight of the Lord your God. Chapter 14, Improper Morning Rites you are children of the Lord your God. You shall not gash yourselves, nor shave the hair above your foreheads for the dead. For you are a people holy to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you from all the peoples on the face of the earth to be people, specially his own. Clean and unclean animals. You shall not eat any abominable thing. These are the animals you may eat, the ox, the sheep the goat, the deer, the gazelle, the roebuck, the wild goat, the ibex, the antelope, and the mountain sheep, any among the animals that has divided hooves with the foot cloven in two and that chews the cud you may eat, but you shall not eat any of the following that chew the cud or have cloven hoods, hooves, the camel, the hare, and the rock badger, which indeed chew the cud but do not have divided hooves, they are unclean for you, and the pig which indeed has divided hooves with cloven feet, but does not chew the cud, is unclean for you. 
their flesh you shall not eat, and their dead bodies you shall not touch. These you may eat. All that live in the water, whatever has both fins and scales you may eat, but all those that lack either fins or scales you shall not eat. They are unclean for you. You may eat all clean birds, but you shall not eat any of the following, the griffin vulture, the bearded vulture, the black vulture, the various kites and falcons, all kinds of crows, the eagle owl, the crestal, the kestrel, the long-eared owl, all species of hawks, the little owl, the screech owl, the barn owl, the horned owl, the osprey, the cormorant, the stork, and any kind of heron, the hoopoe, and the bat. All winged insects are also unclean for you and shall not be eaten. Any clean winged creatures you may eat. You shall not eat the carcass of any animal that has died of itself, but you may give it to a resident alien within your gates to eat, or you may sell it to a foreigner, for you are a people holy to the Lord your God. You shall not boil a young goat in its mother's milk. Tithes. Each year you shall tithe all the produce of your seed that grows in the field. Then in the place which the Lord your God chooses as the dwelling place of his name, you shall eat in his presence. The tithe of your grain, wine, and oil, as well as the firstlings of your herd and flock, that you may learn always to fear the Lord your God. But if when the Lord your God blesses you, the journey is too much for you, and you are not able to bring your tribe, because the place which the Lord your God chooses to put his name is too far for you, you may exchange the tithe for money, and with the money securely in hand go to the place which the Lord your God chooses you may then exchange the money for whatever you desire oxen or sheep wine or beer or anything else you want and there in the presence of the Lord your God you shall consume it and rejoice you and your household together but do not neglect the Levite within your gates for he has no hereditary portion with you at the end of every third year you shall bring out all the tithes of your produce for your that year and deposit them within your own communities that the Levite who has no hereditary portion with you and also the resident alien, the orphan, and the widow within your gates may come and eat and be satisfied so that the Lord your God may bless you in all that you undertake. Thank you for listening. God bless you and I love you.